Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming at you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. So, I recently went to the London Film and Comic Con 2017 and I had an absolutely brilliant day. I met up with loads of friends, fellow Hootubers, and I got to meet lots of celebrities and get loads of photo shoots and autographs, and I thought you might like to see them. So, here they are. So the first person I met at LFCC was Lala Ward. I was really pleased she had this picture because I've always liked it, having her in the Fourth Doctor's costume. Lala was very nice that day, it's probably the second or third time I've met her. Um, she doesn't suffer fools, I must admit I found her quite abrupt the very first time I met her. But um, on this third meeting she's very nice, she's very chatty, and uh, I actually think she's a very nice person. I think she just doesn't suffer fools, so yeah it was nice to meet Lala. I uh, got a photo shoot with her as well which I was very pleased with. I actually quite like the pose. Normally I don't like the back-to-back -back thing. But uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with that. Then I headed over to meet the lovely Louise Jameson, who played Leela, the Fourth Doctor's companion. One of my favourite companions of the Fourth Doctor as well. Um, love this picture of her and Tom. I don't normally go with a photo that's got two people in it if I'm just getting one person to sign it. Um, I mean, it'd be great to get Tom to sign that. But yeah, I just like the picture and was very pleased with that. I also got a photo shoot with Louise as well um, and she's uh, she's a really nice person she's always very bubbly and very chatty so very pleased with that one and then I headed over to meet K9 John Leeson um, I've got uh, I've got a K9 picture autograph somewhere so I went for this one which is slightly different so I think the other photo I've got is like a classic picture whereas this is one from school reunion I think where he's all battered uh, so Adam tailwags from K9 John Leeson I also got a photo shoot with John, a uh, nice photo with him. He was in a great mood that day, again very chatty and a real pleasure to meet. Then I headed over to meet this evil person, <laughs> no I'm talking about Turlo. Uh, Mark Strickson's actually a really nice guy, uh, again a pleasure to meet. I love the fact that he always does the little symbol in his autograph. Um, to Adam, good to meet you Mark Strickson. Didn't get a photo shoot with him because I've already had a photo with him. Uh, a different event. Then uh, this one, Sylvester McCoy, uh, who I have met a few times. Um, I've got a few autographs from Sylvester. I went for this picture because I haven't got one of him in his brown jacket. Um, so Adam, good luck Sylvester McCoy. Uh, I have to say I've always preferred the light jacket but I know a lot of people prefer the dark one and I think that's from Curse of Fenric so I was happy with that autograph. Also got a photo shoot with Sylvester um, and I was really pleased with that, I just think it's a really nice photo of the two of us. Um, I did get a selfie with him at the table on the Sunday when I got the autograph. Um, he did seem in a particularly good mood when I got the picture but I'll, I'll put some photos up from the event um, at the end of the video so I'll include that one. But he was great in the talk, he did a little panel talk where he was walking all through the audience and that was really good fun. Then this was brilliant. I met Scaroff, Lord of the Jaggeroff, Julian Glover himself. Um, I was really pleased he had this Doctor Who picture because uh, I really like City of Death. And what I loved even more was when I put the picture in front of him to sign, he actually said, without me prompting him, Scaroff, Lord of the Jaggeroth. And I laughed. I said, like, yes, brilliant, you remember. He's like, oh yes, the mask was very uncomfortable, but as you can see, I've managed to get it off now. So that was nice. Julian was a pleasure to meet and uh, great to get a Doctor Who photo signed by him. Then uh, a couple of tables along, we had Mr. Sin. So I was pleased they had a Mr. Sin picture for him to sign this time because last time um, they just had loads of Star Trek pictures. So that was good. Um, and I'm pleased with that. And then this was a guy, um, wasn't sure what he's going to be like, but he was really nice. Um, I actually quite like this Christmas special. I know it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit of a Marmite story, isn't it? I think a lot of people don't like the big cyber um, Iron Man in it, but I quite like the story and um, it was really nice to meet him. Uh, he was very chatty and I got a photo with him in the photo studio, which I was very pleased with as well. And then later on that day, I popped over to meet Bill's mum who was also very nice and very chatty. Um, they didn't have many pictures for her, which is understandable, because to be fair, she wasn't really in it that much, but I got that one, so that was quite nice. And then, towards the end of the day, on the Sunday, I went for possibly one of my favourite photo shoots of the day. I was so, so chuffed with this. Um, obviously, we're going to be seeing him as the uh, first Doctor in the Christmas special. Um, a lot of people were asking him to do the lapel pose, 
which I had intended to do, but actually, as I was watching him do it in the queue, um, I thought it'd be nicer to get a smiley picture with him, so I was very, very pleased to get that picture. It did mean that I almost missed out on an autograph with David Bradley, but thanks to my friend Charlie Turner, I actually have one. Now, the story is I was in the queue to meet David Bradley to get the autograph and then um, as I got about eight people away from him I had to leave for a photo shoot and I was in the queue with my friend Charlie um, and I gave him the money and just said would you mind getting me a picture if you get the chance so thank you very much Charlie Turner for actually getting me David Bradley's autograph. I absolutely love it. Talking of people getting me autographs, my friend Callum went to the Sarah Jane Attic event at the weekend um, and I saw him on the Sunday at LFCC and he very kindly got me these autographs as well which I'm absolutely chuffed with from the Attic event so thank you very much for those and also my friend Will gave me this as a birthday present um, a signed photo by Frank Skinner and the reason for this is we went to a BFI event um, and I had a photo almost identical to this for Frank to sign and unfortunately um, when Frank Skinner came out of the event we were at um, he just wandered off to the bar with Stephen Moffat and we didn't see him again and I was gutted not to get it signed so Will very kindly got that for me at the event so thank you very much. Other photo shoots I got on the day were the TARDIS console uh, I do love the, the 80s TARDIS console, so I was pleased with that. I also got a picture of me and Sylvester at the console, which I'm pleased with. And other photo shoots were Matthew Waterhouse. Um, I didn't get his autograph on the, day, on the day because I've already got a few autographs by Matthew, but yeah, good to get a proper photo with him. This is one of my favourites as well, John Cleese. Um, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of Faulty Towers and I was really pleased when he was added to the event. Uh, so chuffed a bits for that picture. And then finally, the big expensive one, but uh, I am absolutely chuffed with this photo, me and Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, I must admit, it was the quickest photo op I've ever been to. Um, I literally blinked and was moved on, but uh, I do feel like I met him for one and a half seconds. Um, and I'm very, very pleased with the photo. It may have been very expensive, but to me, it was worth it. So I was really pleased with the photos and autographs I managed to get that day. There were a couple that I would have liked to have got that I missed out on. For example, John Cleese's autograph was one that I really wanted. But every time I went to his booth, he was either away doing a talk or the queue was just massive and they just sent us away. Um, also, I would have liked to have got Benedict Cumberbatch's autograph, although to be fair, I think it was about £80, £85. So it probably did me a favour that the queue was so big every time I went, I just gave up. Because to be fair, I spent an absolute fortune that weekend. Anyway, it was worth it to me. I really did enjoy it. And I'm going to leave you a montage now of photos from the day including clearer shots of the autographs I just showed you so stay tuned for that. Right I hope you enjoyed this video do check out thegeekshandbag.com for more news and content from me as well as that I do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes every Friday called the Big Blue Box podcast to so give that a listen and until the next time guys take care bye bye! <laughs>